space, time, life itself. The secrets of the cosmos lie through the wormhole. Gravity slows time, and this is the key to one form of time travel. When you leave a gravity field such as the Earth's surface, time moves at a different rate for you than for your friends on Earth. The time difference is greatest when you move at high speed. This means that time travelers walk among us. These are their time machines. Cosmonaut Sergei Krikalev is the world's greatest time traveler. Krikalev has spent 803 days moving at 17,000 miles per hour. He traveled fast outside the Earth's gravity, so time moved more slowly for him than for us. Because time passed at different rates, he has traveled into the future, a 48th of a second into the future. A 48th of a second may not sound like much, but stick more power behind him and make him go faster, near light speed, about 670 million miles per hour, and things get strange. If he travels for a year, he'll come back and find out that while he has aged 12 months, Earth is 10 years older. Here is another time machine and it speeds things up even faster than our rocket ships. It's Europe's Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, the world's biggest and baddest particle accelerator. Steve Nunn is a professor of physics at MIT. Using the LHC, Nunn and thousands of other scientists turn pieces of atoms into time travelers. They take protons, accelerate them to nearly the speed of light, then smash them together. The subatomic particles that come out of the explosions only live for about a billionth of a second. But in the LHC, that billionth of a second is stretched out relative to our time. The LHC here at CERN is like a time machine because of a, a funny feature of physics. Velocity is not what you think it is. Velocity at normal speeds is normal, but at very, very high speeds, velocity has a maximum limit. So the protons in the ring are traveling near the speed of light, and they can't go faster. What happens instead is that their clocks start moving slower. Their ticks are longer than our ticks. So in some sense, the protons that are going around the ring, their clocks are moving slower than our clocks, so they're like time travelers relative to us. The time traveling protons at CERN show us that we too can travel far forward in time. Decades from now, spaceships traveling near the speed of light could fly into the stars on a 10-year mission. For the people on board, it would be 10 years. On Earth, a thousand years would pass. The astronauts would return to a far different future world. Time travel into the future is possible. But is it a one-way trip? Can we make our dream of time travel backwards and forwards come true?